Hey MetaFam, Pee Weasel here. Welcome to the channel. So this week we got a jam-packed MetaZoo news segment. So let's get right into it actually. So Seance gets submitted to our printers next week. That was August 4th, so it's next week already. And there's a bit of an update later on on what the booster box actually looks like for this Seance set. And I have to tell you, it is quite something else. Next news we have is August 26, 2022, and this would be the UFO uh, binder that's going to be on the MetaZoo Marketplace. Uh, the last Wilderness one came with a Wilderness release uh, promo, uh, release event promo. Uh, this UFO one uh, is unlikely to have it because UFO has its own UFO release box this time around, so this will likely just be uh, the binder that's available. And of course, uh, this is the MetaZoo, uh, kind of like the Ultra Pro Pro Binder, where it's kind of like the side loading ones. Uh, th these are the really good quality ones. And as always, they look amazing. Uh, the Wilderness one, Nightfall one, and Cryptid Nation one, they all fit the theme of the colors. And this UFO one is gray, just to match the UFO booster box as well. Next one we have, <laughs> try to mix next one and news together so we came out as news so there's metazoo charity foundation what else can i say really about this it's uh metazoo is going to set up its own charity foundation to help out the needy to help out different charity that's uh, in need of support uh, so kudos for metazoo for bringing that to light uh, next one we have is don't mind us and some people thought these were boxes, but you can actually see that over here, uh, this is kind of like a page. Kind of what I mean by page is that these are like individual prints uh, that you can see over here and over here as well. So these will be the MetaZoo uh, Faded Spade or Poker Kickstarter uh, artist prints that were an add-on for $50 USD. Uh, to your order. Uh, so the MetaZoo USPCC or poker Kickstarter uh, is now over. That was late February, early March. And we're still waiting for the products to be shipped out. But Mike made a post in the general chat uh, yesterday saying that uh, we should be getting uh, shipment confirmation emails uh, sometimes this week. So watch out for your emails to yeah, get a nice surprise there. And good luck for everyone that got the Kickstarter because there are still um, a lot of the randomly seeded additional items that uh, that were, I guess, teased uh, when the Kickstarter was available. Uh, so the next important date we have is August 21st, and that will be the MetaZoo UFO eBay collaboration. Uh, it's just like the Wilderness uh, eBay collaboration, this will be on the eBay website. And then I don't know if MetaZoo deleted their account or not on uh, eBay, but uh, when the drop happens, uh, you go on eBay, you find the MetaZoo, I guess, the, what do you call it? The MetaZoo seller page, or just type in the item and it should pop up. And Timing wise, I'm guessing it's going to be the same as last time, so 12 p.m. So keep your eyes out on that. Uh, and of course, join the MetaZoo Discord to get all your latest updates. That's where I'm getting pretty much these ones. And we'll know for sure later on as well. And then we have we have the MetaZoo Target Smokey the Bear promo card here. So this is going to be the three pack blisters. Uh, so I'm pretty 100% sure now that this is just a teaser picture for uh, Ford, Ford product. So this is not on target shelves. These are not on target shelves yet, but I'm pretty sure it's a Chaos Crystal Enthusiast brought one of these blister packs to a target and just put these on the shelves just to tease it. Uh, yeah, so keep your eyes out on that uh, coming soon. Next news we have, the lunch boxes will contain five UFO times eBay, well, UFO eBay collaboration labeled booster packs and five packs from Cryptid Nation to Nightfall, Wilderness, and UFO. So that kind of goes back to this lunch box 
uh, that will be for the UFO eBay collaboration. So it will have exactly what it says here. <laughs> Sorry to read it again, but there will be the five special UFO eBay booster packs uh, and then five packs. So not so it's very unlikely that's going to be five packs of each of the previous sets, but it's going to be just five packs uh, in total, uh, which will consist of Cryptid Nation 2 and or Nightfall 1 and or Wilderness 1 and or UFO. So definitely the UFO eBay uh, booster packs will be a lot less uh, in print, I guess, and going to make it more valuable for sure. Uh, next news we have, should MetaZoo start adopting some highways? And yeah, I guess MetaZoo is thinking of maybe changing some uh, some highways to the name of certain MetaZoo characters. Maybe um, Adam, Adam Ackler, maybe Sam Sinclair. I can't really see the beasties being called the highways because it would just be like Bigfoot Road or like Nessie Road or Piazza Bird Road. <laughs> So, but those are already cryptids that's in lore, right? So I'm I'm pretty sure that there would be those um, different road names already. Next news we got is a visual guide to the first book, MetaZoo Cryptid Nation, and this was this is related to the novel that uh, Mike sent over to. I don't want to say the publishers, but to be published, so the people that are going to be uh, reviewing it. And that's coming out, I'm pretty sure still the timeline is sometime this year, and those will be hitting uh, bookstores and hopefully being one of the top sellers. Next news, just got home from New York City after an amazing release event at Roswell. And yeah, it's just Mike thank you, the MetaZoo community, and we are doing great things together, for sure. Thank you, Mike. We are definitely doing that. Mainly you at the helm. <laughs> uh, Next one news is soon. I some people thinking this is wallpaper. I don't think it's wallpaper. I think this is related to the Kickstarter. I've seen this picture like a few months ago, and I think this is the design that's going to be on the poker um, poker chip set that was an add-on as well to the uh, Kickstarter. But don't take my word on that. If you know what this actually is, please leave a comment down below. Uh, I'm very interested. Next teaser is come with me, skeptics and believers, souls from beyond, join the seance. And this is an amazing picture digitally drawn by Poncho of Old Scratch. So Old Scratch in the Nightfall set was the secret rare that you could pull from uh, the different products. I think mainly booster boxes though. And yeah, so it seems like he'll be making a return to Seance, which is the October uh, MetaZoo set. So the, ne so the next main set after UFO. Uh, vinyl. Uh, for those of you too young to know what vinyl is, vinyl is those big records that you have to play on a record player. Um, so just think of a CD, but just expand it larger. And then yeah, so... That'd be pretty cool if MetaZoo put all their uh, theme songs and smash hits on a vinyl. I would definitely be interested in that because the songs are actually really great. <laughs> Every time there's a release uh, of the, let's say, like Cryptid Nation, Nightfall, Wilderness, and the UFO songs, I kind of listen to them for at least 24 hours straight. <laughs> They're really catchy. Uh, next one, another teaser from Seance. Um, I guess some a demon of some kind. I'm not too sure. Looks a little bit of like the like a Japanese oni as well. But I think onis are going to be part of the Yokai Island set. So if anyone knows what demon this is, please leave a comment down below. Uh, oh, this news is oops, that was only a proto. So what this was saying was Mike did one of those flash announcements again. So it was up for one second and it was taken down. Uh, what this was hinting at is, so there is going to be a, for those active in the Discord, there's a dot .flork meme that if you put in dot .flork, like an image comes up. You know what, I'll just show you. So dot .flork. So here it is. You can see I have to scroll all the way down. And if you type in dot .flork, no, a flork picture comes up. 
And it seems like there will be a, a line of t-shirts that's going to be uh, Flork uh, related. And the one that was teased was the Flork Momo. And I'm guessing that there, previously there was teased that there would be a Flork uh, promo card as well. So I'm guessing it's going to be maybe randomly inserted or possibly be one of the cards that you can get when the t-shirt uh, collaboration comes out. And Flork, for those of you who don't know, is actually a really OG member of the community, and he did all the uh, .flork um, images for MetaZoo. Next announcement we have is the, uh, I keep forgetting, this is the MetaZoo Jewelry. It's, I think it's called like What's Precious? Uh, I can't remember right now, but this is the um, collaboration that MetaZoo announced late last year and it seems like it's finally coming to fruition um, but the longer we wait the better quality it'll be right so those of you that's interested in jewelry uh, keep your eyes out for this next news is we love our play testers so we got the these are play testers cards so actually so the way that you can see these is if it's a gray border this is a play testing card that is sent to the different play testers after the play testing phase has completed so it'll be like a stack of cards which were play tested by there's not that many play testers i think there's like 36 play testers or something and they do it through tabletop simulator and then afterwards uh, for their hard work the play testers will get some some of these play testing cards these are different than the sample cards which have a black border which are kind of like the prototype um, prototype MetaZoo cards that came out before the Crypto Nation first edition release. And those the sample cards were available in different packs that uh, Mike sent out to the Patreon supporters at the time, or you can purchase them from the Mar MetaZoo marketplace uh, way back when. So that's very nice looking card right there. We got another teaser of Seance. So that would, this would be Walking Sam, and I think these are pentagrams, and then pentagrams are the symbols that's used to summon, um, I don't know, different beings from different dimensions, either from like the ghost dimension or from the demon dimension, uh, the different places. So anyway, it's Walking Sam holding multiple pentagrams. <laughs> so the next thing we have is another seance spoiler. Also, my birthday, which is, this is Mike speaking, is August 12th. And please keep asking me what I want as a gift. People keep asking him what he wants for a gift. Uh, he has everything he could possibly want from the MetaZoo community. And he'll be volunteering and just asking us as community members to also volunteer as a gift to him. And this is another, I guess, uh, it's kind of a goat, mountain goat, forest mountain goat. That will also be in the seance set. Uh, here's Chaos Crystal. Wow, he's really on a uh, teaser spree. <laughs> Te teaser spree. Since you guys like seeing behind the scenes, here's two of our early prototype plushes for a very fun upcoming event. So you got the UFO plushie and the Blockhead plushie. All the plushies look so great <laughs> for MetaZoo. Uh, this is, oh, and you can see actually, it says Flirk shirts here. And these, these are the symbols for the different sets so far, uh, except Crispin Nation. So that's the Nightfall symbol, that's the Wilderness symbol, and that's the UFO symbol, all in uh, Flork style. So that'd be cool. Maybe there'll be like a shirt. Each shirt maybe has like a spe specific Flork beastie and maybe behind a shirt or maybe like along with the shirt design, they'll also say which uh, set they're from. So, oh, this news, if you are a MZO, which is a metazoologist, which is also a, a judge in the different metazoo comp competitive scene, uh, or an LGS representative, uh, please reach out to a mod for a special surprise. So a special surprise, I'll ruin it for everyone. It's, um, it's a, uh, what do you call it now? Oh man, it's slipping my mind. But, oh, it's a badge. So it's a badge beside your name, kind of like uh, over here. Like Mike has a staff badge that's beside his name. Uh, MZOs got their MZO or metazoologist badges and LGSs that aren't partnered yet got their LGS uh, badges too. Uh, and then after that, um, I hope this is uh, Mike's new display picture 
that's in the works because this looks really nice. It's Mike, I'm guessing, and then there's a Mothmine, Mothmine, Mothman uh, as his spirit animal in the background. Ooh, you know what'd be cool if it was a uh, MetaZoo times JoJo's Bizarre Adventure collab. You know, so this could be Mike's stand. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, next one we have Mike saying the moving tower neutral. Oh, so this is a different uh, competitive style of play. So it's called towers. Uh, it is hinted that towers will be kind of like stationary locations that uh, MetaZoo casters, which are the players, can go and maybe challenge different, um, I don't know what you call them, the wizards, the people that protect the tower, and maybe you'll get uh, different kind of rewards for beating them. Kind of like in Pokemon, there's the different, uh, ch what's it called, different gyms. And then I guess the neutral tower would be a moving one. That's a pretty cool concept. So <laughs> I have in my mind kind of like an RV, but it has like an additional add-on to the top of it. <laughs> so it looks like a tower. So um, we'll see what that is, but uh, that's just my guess. And here we get into it. Seance gets submitted today, which is today. Uh, after a few more adjustments, it is by far the most beautiful and eerie and creepy set yet. Afton once told me, which is the artist, uh, once told me she would be willing to bleed for her art. Let's just say I called her bluff for seance. And this is what the seance booster box will look like. Really loving the color there. I really like the uh, purple mixed with the, the pink here, which is, I guess, the color of Walking Sam, which will be definitely one of the chase cards for the set. And you can see here, I'm pretty sure that it was said that Afton kind of a uh, picked her finger or at least used some of her blood to do the, the this drawing specifically. And then they use that design here as the border for the box. So unfortunately we won't be getting a box mixed with, I guess it would be kind of weird though, Afton's blood in the printing ink. So I don't think that's gonna be a thing, but at least the prototype of the, uh, the edge of the artwork was, uh, there did contain some of Afton's blood in it. So she did bleed for the set. Next news, promos, tarot card readings, tote bags, plush, and more exclusive swag that you can handle for the uh, Long Beach Collecticon. And then, oh, there's also going to be a uh, tournament as well at with a $5,000 cash pool. So first place will be 5,000. Oh, never mind. So five, first place will be $5,000. Second place will be 2,000 and third place 1,000 and more. So if you're going to Long Beach Collecticon, don't forget to sign up for the tournament. If you're, uh, I'm guessing you'll have to be part of the MetaZoo Play Network, so the MPN Network, just like for Caster's Cup. Um, but also, yeah, check out the MetaZoo booth, of course. And Collecticon is pretty much the uh, convention specifically for trading card games. A very happy B-Day to Eric. So another one of the, the staff members. So happy birthday, Eric. We got PSA graded card stands. Uh, PSA is one of the big three grading companies with PSA being uh, professional sports authenticators, BGS, uh, Beckett grading, and CGC. Uh, I think collectible games um, grading. I forgot their actual name, but uh, PSA uh, cards will definitely fit on these stands, which actually have been uh, labeled a different UFO and MetaZoo Oh, I thought actually it actually had a wilderness um, cryptid nation as well, but I guess this one's specifically for UFO. And yeah, pick them up if you have some PSA graded MetaZoo cards. And the final news for this <laughs> week uh, is Return of the Comics, but with original hand painted art covers and dare I say gradable by CGC. And yeah, like, like I said, CGC is one of the big three trading card game uh, graders, but CBG, CGC was well known uh, before, uh, specifically for their comic grading. And then uh, when we, when see Crystal Chaos Enthusiast says return of the comics is that the comics were supposed to be discontinued uh, from being sold on the MetaZoo marketplace physically. So there's only the uh, electronic versions of the comics because Mike wanted to, uh, release the novel uh, in that way but i guess by popular demand comics will be coming back again uh not sure if it's going to pass uh episode four or not but uh we'll see and 
definitely excited to see the hand painted art covers because who doesn't like hand painted stuff, right? And let's, as always, let's take a look at the MetaZoo um, socials. Is there any new uh, news here? Nope. So just the same old as the other stuff with some more teaser of Invasion Toys, uh, the blob and like the electric guy <laughs> at Long Beach. I guess maybe they'll be available or maybe they're just uh, there for pre-orders or as teasers. So some important dates to remember, guys. Uh, on August 14th, which is a Sunday, at 3 p.m., there will be the Gamer Subs drop. If you want the Gamer Subs Bigfoot promo card, uh, next important date when we saw earlier is the UFO MetaZoo, sorry, U UFO eBay drop on August 21st. There's going to be the binder, UFO binder drop on the MetaZoo Marketplace on August 26th. So as always, please leave a comment down below of what you thought of the news this week. There's definitely a lot to talk about. Please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. I greatly appreciate it. And as always, keep on casting, and I'll see you guys next time.